Hey, Walter Sorrells back with another Knife Making Friday Five. Today, selling your knives. <laughs> So I got a question from a viewer this past week who was interested in knowing how I start, sort of started out selling knives. Now, there really are two questions here. One is just the question of how you literally go about finding customers for your knives. And the other question is more sort of how did you become a professional knife maker? Now, he may have been a little more interested in the professional knife making question. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I'm going to save that for another day. Today, I'm going to talk about the issue of how you actually go about selling knives. And that's a slightly different question from how do you become a professional. Obviously, the, the kind of basics, if you're living on planet Earth today and you want to sell some stuff, social media, have a website. The website has to have good pictures of your work. Uh, that's actually a really important thing. If you're going to sell your work any place where you're gonna have visual representations of your work. You have to have high quality photographs. I've got a video I did a long time ago about taking pictures of knives. If you don't wanna be the guy who goes to the trouble of figuring out how to take good pictures, uh, there are professional uh, photographers who kind of specialize in taking pictures of knives. So, you know, that might be a route for you. Anyway, let's put aside the obvious stuff. The most important thing to start with when you're selling knives is, you know, to start with knives that you're enthusiastic about. Um, it's very important that, you know, you have a feel for how that knife is used, um, what it's good for. You know, maybe you've used a lot of factory made knives in the past and there are things you liked or didn't like about them. So start with stuff that you're enthusiastic about. If you're a hunter, that's probably a good direction for you to go. If you have an interest in uh, martial arts, maybe Japanese uh, weaponry is, is up your alley or um, uh, everyday carry, um, maybe uh, self-defense kind of knives. You know, those sort of things might come out of that set of interests. So that's, that's sort of your starting point. Start where you're standing. Second point is, and this is kind of obvious, but it's worth saying, make the best knives you possibly can. Sometimes people go out and start trying to sell knives before they're really, really ready for prime time. You know, go out to the woodshed and hone your craft before you get too busy trying to sell your knives. Okay, but once, once you're in that position that you're making pretty decent knives and you'd like to sell a few of them, and, and why would you want to do that? Maybe uh, you have professional aspirations, but maybe you just, you know, want to justify to your wife while you're spending, you know, hours and hours out in the woodshed every weekend, or uh, you wanna pay for a new belt grinder, whatever it might be, it's nice to make a little money from all this hard work. So that's a laudable thing, makes a lot of sense. Um, the next point that I would make is, and, and this kind of grows out of, you know, start where you stand, is your first set of customers are gonna be the people around you. Friends, acquaintances, um, you know, just people who travel in your circle. They're, they're gonna be enthusiastic about the fact that you're making knives, especially if you're making good stuff. Show them your knives. Don't you know, be that annoying guy who's always shoving business cards in people's faces and trying to sell them stuff. Just you know, show people your knives. And the people who connect with what you're doing, they'll say, hey, you know, how much you, you, know, how much you want for this? And very organically, you can start to you know, sell knives to people that you know. You're not trying to ask a big bunch of money for them. You're not trying to really make money off of your, you know, circle of friends, but that your friends have friends and they, those friends have other friends. And if you make good knives, you're gonna, the, the, the word will get out about you. Now, this is, this is kind of making it a little bit more specific. And, and, and here's where I'll draw on my own personal experience. Um, you know, I'm a martial arts guy, uh, I'm a competitive shooter, and so I know a lot of guys in law enforcement, uh, firearms training, uh, martial arts training, personal defense, you know, just my circle of pals is, you know, kind of in this world. So there are a lot of, you know, my friends, friends of friends, 
uh, acquaintances, whatever, who are interested in the kind of knives that I'm interested in. And you get really good feedback from those people. And this is what's really important, is that as people handle your knives, wear your knives, use your knives, they're going to offer you feedback and critique and be willing to listen to them, you know, because that's really what's going to help, you know, up your game over time is actually listening to the people who use your knives. Now, as a professional knife maker, are you going to make uh, enough money to put food on your table, you know, 12 months of the year just selling to your friends and friends of friends? No, you're not. But when you're first getting started, this is a great way of kind of getting the word out and getting some feedback about the type of knives that you're doing. So, in terms of actual folks that you go to to sell or places you go to, go to, to sell, obviously, like I said before, uh, you're going to want to look at, you know, you, the internet and uh, social media is a great way of, of, of reaching people. Um, but in a local context, you know, things like uh, gun shows, um, local gun stores, you know, knife people are gun people, gun people are knife people most of the time. And, you know, a lot of gun stores sell knives. Uh, many local gun stores will sell local knife makers. They like having that personal connection. They like the salespeople being able to say, hey, I know this guy. I can recommend him. You know, he'll do a sheath for you. He'll, you know, sharpen your knife for you, things like that. Um, so, you know, starting at a local area, that kind of gun and knife world is a good place to, uh, to find local retailers who can uh, sell your knives. So one last general point about selling, and this is, you know, it just takes hustle. If you really are serious about selling things, you have to recognize that making knives alone, you know, that whole notion of make a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door is total crap. You have to go out and sell what you make. If you don't, nobody will ever find it, no matter how good it is. This is sad, but you know, I've been involved in sort of the arts world since I was a little kid. You know, my mom and my father were involved in, you know, selling artistic creations. Um, I've known lots and lots of people who do it. And the reality is that if you don't figure out strategies and spend mental energy trying to find places to sell your work, then you're going to produce potentially very, very nice uh, work, but that, you know, may not reach a deserving audience. So just recognize when you get started, you have to do some legwork and be resourceful to try and find places where you can sell your knives. <laughs>